Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to multiply by 10 and 100 and 1000. And there is a neat shortcut for multiplying any number by 10. Let me show you. 75 times 10. All you need to do is just take that number 75 and write it here and then tag a zero after it, like that. So it is 750. Let me try this one. 314 times 10. So I write the number 314. And then I write a zero after it. So it becomes 3140. Okay, it's a really easy shortcut. 10 times 50. Can you tell me what that will be? Don't take the 10. Take this number that we're multiplying by 10, the 50, and write one zero after it. 500. How about that last one? There's 2050. And then one zero after it. So we get 20,500. Let's try the same now, where we multiply by 100. Okay, here's 100 times 81. Can you guess what the shortcut will be for 100? It's going to be that you write the number, the 81, not the 100, but the 81, and write two zeros after it. Okay, that's easy too. 8,100. And then 100 times 244. Write the 244. Write two zeros after it. Okay, just like 100 has two zeros, you write two zeros over there. So that is 24,400. Okay, how about multiplying by 1,000? It's going to be the same idea. Okay, 1,000 has three zeros. So when we multiply a number by it, we just write the number 39 and then write three zeros after it. Okay, 39,000. Or 1,000 times 498 we get 498,000, like this, 498 and three zeros. All right, so that was easy, right? Now let's look a little bit at why does it work. It's based on the place value system we use with our numbers. Here I have a place value chart. TH would mean thousands, and then hundreds, tens, and ones. And I have a number here, 8. When we multiply it by 10, 8 times 10, you know what it is. It's 80, right? Basically what happens is these 8 ones become 8 tens. And then I need to write a 0 here in this empty space. 80, okay? So there's a 0 there. Now if I had another number here, let me see if I had 58. When these five tens are multiplied by ten, they become five hundreds, okay? And that is because of our place value system is based on number ten. Each unit from here to here is different by ten, tenfold difference. From hundreds to tens, right, there is a tenfold difference. And so 58 times ten, the five tens becomes five hundreds. Eight ones becomes eight tens and then I need to write a zero here in this empty space. So it's the same as the shortcut. I take the 58 and I write zero after it. Let's try it here too. This would be my ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. If I multiply that number by 100, three becomes 300, right? So I write 3 here in the hundreds place. It's like this number moved two steps. But then I need to write zeros in the empty spaces. Or if I have something more here, let's say I have 293. The same thing happens to 2 and 9. They also move two spaces this way. This 2 hundreds becomes 2 here, 2 ten thousands, when multiplied by 100. And 9 tens becomes 9 thousands when multiplied by hundred. They move two steps, okay? But the shortcut is that you just write two zeros after the number. Okay, so Mr. Jefferson wants to buy a lawn tractor or a riding mower to mow his lawn. 
and so it cost $1,299. How many hundred dollar bills does he need? Now this is not a difficult question. You can make it even easier by thinking if the price was exactly $1,000, then he would need 10 hundred dollar bills. But since there's this 299, then he needs three more hundred dollar bills. So he needs 13 of them, right? 1300. And many people would read, if this price was 1300, many people would read it as 1300 dollars, okay? Now over here, we have some missing factor problems. Remember, a number you're multiplying is called a factor, okay? So some factors are missing. What number goes here? I think, yeah, Matty. Come on, you can write the answers. Then you guys can check. Did Matty get it right? 100 times 134. Two zeros here, two there. Yep. Okay, 51 times 100. 51,000. Did Matty get it right? Not this time, Matthew. You have an error. Go fix it. You see it? Yeah, thousand. Now, but here, something times ten is nine thousand. Nine hundred. Okay, let's check. There's nine hundred, and there's the one zero here. Nine hundred. Yes. And the last one, Matthew. Yeah, that's correct too. Did you get the same ones? Thank you. Divide by ten hundred of thousand. Okay. Here is where we get to use our little shortcut backwards. Instead of tagging a zero or writing an extra zero, we're going to take off zeros from our number. Fifteen thousand divided by ten. Okay. There's one zero here. And so this zero came to the number if something was multiplied by 10, okay? So I'm gonna take it off, like that, and I get 1500, or 1500, right? It matches, because you can check this by multiplying. Take this number times 10, okay? So you would have this number written with one extra zero added to it. Yes, it works. And then divide it by 100. That means I'm gonna take off two zeros from my number, so I get 150. Again, check by multiplying. 150 times 100, I would have 150 and two zeros. Yeah. And then you can guess what happens here. We take off three zeros. Okay, 15. And 15 times 1,000. Yep, it's 15,000. Now you try this on your own, okay? Pause the video. Seven hundred eighty divided by ten. Oh, okay, Matthew, you want to? All right, you want to scratch off those zeros, right? It's kind of fun the scratching of zeros. One hundred forty-nine thousand divided by one hundred. Yep, that's how it goes. You scratch off two zeros, and then thirty-two thousand divided by ten. Be careful. Aha, uh -huh, yes, exactly. Just scratch off one zero. If a person was born in 1561 and died in 1637, how many years did the person live? This is a common manner of reading year numbers, okay? 1561 or 1923 or so on. So 1500, what number is it? It would be 1,500, right? So I'm going to write these numbers. 1,500 would be the same as 1,500. And then 61, of course, like that. And the other, 1,600 and 37, like that. Okay? So those are year numbers. And now, how many years did the person live? You need to look at the difference. Okay? You could subtract, or you can figure it out mentally, however you want. Okay? From here to 1600. If I think going from here to 1600, kind of like in two steps, then this difference here is 
39 years. And then, of course, from here to here is 37 years. And now I add those, okay? So we get 76 years. Okay, so they lived a nice long life. Well done with this lesson. Matthew.